Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today, we are back at our dorms after the crazy adventure that we had finished up in the last episode. If you haven't seen it, you have to go check it out. It was the climactic ending to the main story of the game, but now Director Clavel has called us and our friends to his office. So what could that be about? I'm not quite sure. We're gonna find out together just by heading this way. So where do we wanna go? Um, I think right down this way to the director's office. So we'll talk to Clavel here a little bit and see what they might have to say. I'm, I'm really curious. I, I really have no clue. Whoa, so they beat us here. Hey guys. Huh, looks like the hero's finally here. Would you join us, Master Zebra? We're in for an earful, aren't we? Guess we'll find out soon enough. No need for concern, you two. I'm not angry in the slightest. I merely called you all here to discuss your fine achievements in this year's treasure hunt. You shut down the professor's time machine and thus prevented the Pokemon from the future for from running rampant across Paldea. Your actions were truly outstanding in every regard, and I couldn't be prouder of you all. Though your decision to enter a strictly off-limits area was admittedly regrettable. Huh. You got us there. However, since this was necessary to protect Paldea and its precious ecosystems, I'm willing to overlook that particular point. Phew, so we're not getting raked over to the coals after all. Oh, before I forget, Master Zebra, there's something I would like you to have. Each of your friends have received one already, and this one is for you. You attained a Master Ball. Whoa, okay. The very best Pokeball with the ultimate level of performance. With it, you will catch any wild Pokemon without fail. That is so exciting. Oh, and about the Hall of Fame badge I gave you a short while ago. That gift is one I bestow only upon students who achieve truly remarkable feats. I expect you to honor with what that badge represents and by striving always to serve as a model for your fellow students. You can count on me. Splendid, such enthusiasm will surely take you far in life. And Master Arvin. I was so sorry to hear about the professor. You have my deepest condolences. Ah, well. Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my dad had died. But weirdly enough, my head actually feels clear now, for the first time in ages. In the Great Crater, I got to learn a bit about my dad's research and what he was trying to achieve down there. I guess if you're building something as mind-blowing as a time machine, that takes priority over showering your son with attention, huh? All I know is that I'm done feeling like some lost little kid. Done. Time to say goodbye and move on. I'm gonna enjoy every last day till graduation with my buds here. I'm a boss, of course. Well said, Master Arvin. You truly are your father's son. Of course, I must remind you that you've nowhere near enough credits to graduate. You'll truly need to study frantically to catch up, but I have every expectation of your success. Oh no. What? Oh no. And let us not forget the other good news. Our academy has a new champion. Though we sadly cannot make your valiant deeds in the great crater known to the public, your new champion rank at the least should be celebrated throughout the whole school. Ooh, I know how we should celebrate. We should hold a Pokemon battle contest. Seriously, could we not? Classic Nimona. A Pokemon battle contest, you say? While your own vested interests in such a venture are more than apparent, Miss Nimona, I think it's a fine idea. But please understand that a large-scale event will be quite beyond us. We have many other school activities to keep an eye on, after all. Part of my intrusion, I couldn't help but overhear. Oh, it's Gita! The Pokemon League will, of course, happily lend a hand in organizing this contest. La Primera? Well, well, a most kind offer, Chairwoman Gita. I do everything in my power to nurture young, up-and-coming talent. Though that's not to say only the youth have promise when it comes to Pokemon battles. A former gym leader, the developer of the Pokedex app, this academy clearly counts many skilled trainers of Pokemon among its staff. As such, my suggestion is as follows. Students and staff could compete for the title of strongest trainer at the academy. Whoa, we get to battle the teachers? You'd compete too, right, Primera? Is that even allowed? The chairwoman's not part of the academy, right? Actually, I think she's the chairwoman of the school board as well as the Pokemon League. 
Wait, for real? I mean, I knew she was on another level, but wow. Thank you for the invitation, Champion Nimona. I would gladly take up your kind offer to compete alongside you all, but I'm afraid my schedule is already packed tight with the work that I simply must attend to. Aw, can't you free up some time somehow? Well, I suppose I might be able to participate if Champion Zebra would agree to lend me a hand with my work. Uh, where, uh, where should I start? Excellent answer. Much obliged, Champion Zebra. To get straight to it, I would like you to go out and inspect Paldea's various gyms in my stat. Are they fulfilling their duties as beacons of strength and inspiration for all those aiming to achieve champion rank? Or has your brilliance started to fade? To find this out, I ask that you bring your full might as champion to bear against each of the gym leaders and test their prowess in battle. They are all trainers of exceptional talent, handpicked by me personally. I do not expect you f you'll find any cracks in their armor, but, well, consider it a formality. This will also provide the perfect stage for you your first appearance as a new champion. Since all the gym leaders will still be expecting me to carry out the inspection, I imagine they'll have mustered their full strength. I dare say they might be more of a challenge than when you faced them before. You get to have all-out battles with the gym leaders? Aw oh, man, I'm jealous. Now then, on to the crucial matter. I'd like to discuss with Penny here how to patch the weaknesses on our elite point system. Um, but there's a bunch of anime I've missed that I was just gonna binge. Thank you in advance for your willing and eager cooperation. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I'll help, let me help. Excellent, we'll leave you all to it then. Come now, Penny. Oh, poor Penny. This is awesome, Zebra. Show this inspection thing who's boss that Le Premier can join our tournament, okay? And enjoy taking another swing at the gym gauntlet while you're at it. I'll take care of filling out the forms and other administrative stuff so the ball gets rolling on the tournament in the meantime. I say, it's wonderful to see you all showing such initiative. You have, you each have a critical role to play. Penny, assisting the league, our new champion inspecting gyms, Nimona, arranging the event. Give it your best, everyone. Guess my role's so obvious it goes without saying? I guess so. I don't know what his role is. But there we go, so I guess we have ourselves a new quest to go on here. How to change Maraidon's form. If you select Maraidon while the menu is open, you can now have it changed between its battle form and its ride form. Whoa, that's cool. So can we use it to battle Pokemon that way? Use your map to find your next destination, which should be, if we zoom out, we can just take on everything again, or is it just the gym leaders? I think it's just the gym leaders. It looks like it. So I guess we'll get started with that in today's episode. I don't see what else more there is to do. So I'll try to tackle these in a similar order of which I did them originally, because I feel like that'd be a fun way to do it. So I know that we started with the Cortando gym, Battle the Cortando Gym again. Battle against Katie, the gym leader of the Cortando Gym. So I think that's the first one we'll stick with. And I won't be adventuring too much on foot or with Maraidon. I think we'll just be flying wherever we need to go, but I can't fly from here. So let's head out of the school and get started with all that. So it lots to do here for sure. I mean, it says that there's more to do with the office. Huh. What if I left and then came back inside? I wanna make sure we're not missing anything. It is a bit odd though, isn't it? <laughs> Saying I need to be in the office when I'm in the office. So. Yeah, there is something more in the director's office. So let's just double check it real quick. Cause I'm very curious. But there's still plenty to do here out in the world of the Paldea region, even though we've completed the main game. Thank you for the visit, Master Zebra. A good friend of mine has been telling me of your recent exploits. A good friend, or do you, you mean Clive? Haha, <laughs> I'll leave their identity to your imagination. But now, Lest I forget, there is another matter I would very much like your opinion on. You know what manner of gentleman's hairstyle is considered cool, as it were, among the youth these days? Um, I, I guess giant pompadours if you ask a certain Clive. Um, I don't know, I feel like everybody has their own style. It's, it's just about what's, with, what's good with you, so I guess giant pompadours, sure. Oh, pompadours, you say? I suspected as much. Though I don't seem to recall many of the Academy's male students supporting such a style. Could it be then that the Pompadour has already had its day in the sun? Perhaps I ought to consider a change of wig. Oh, ah, that is to say, never mind. 
Thank you for your insight, Master Zebra. It was most enlightening. <laughs> you feel trusted by Dr. Director Clavel. Awesome, so this is a little chit chat, nothing too crazy there. See, now we're good to head out into the world of Paldea once more, this time to have some good rematches with some Pokemon gym trainers. This is gonna be great. I really can't wait for it. This is the wrong way to go, though. So we're back outside of the school, so I wanted to try this really quickly. We can pull Moradin just like that, but if we get down this way, you want Moradin to change into its battle form. Yes. Your party is full. Would you like to move a Pokemon to your boxes to make space? Sure, just for now, we'll send back Palma, because I think it's an electric type. I don't know if I'll battle with this too much, um, but I just want to try it. You know, our team is pretty strong as it is, so um, let's see. Maraidon's level 68, and if we check the summary for it, it is an electric dragon type with the electric um, terra type. Very, very cool. Now, I don't know if there's any way to see this in the Pokedex. Huh, not from here, but that is so cool. So yeah, now we just have Maraidon out and about. I can just throw it out like, wait, not like that. Hold on, I gotta make it the lead Pokemon, and then throw it out. And look at this, we got Maraidon! Just hanging out, that is so cool! So I'm really glad we have it, it is a very good Pokemon for sure, but I think, you know, our team has gotten us, gotten us as far as it has. We gotta keep with it when we're rematching all of these gym leaders, so that's what I'm mostly focused on. So we're gonna start with going over to the Cortando gym to take on the Bug gym leader, once I get Palmot back out here. So we are here back in comfortable Cortando, where we'll be battling our first gym leader here of today. We'll be trying to get them all done. Should be pretty exciting and, and, and pretty action-packed. So this was a, was it a bug type gym leader? So we changed positions and get Talonflame on the front. I think that'll be our best bet to start things off. So yeah, let's go for it. Oh, so here they are. They're just chilling out here in the, in the lobby. Hello there, my name's Katie and I am the owner of the Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, the new champion everybody is talking about. Is it actually you, sweetie? It sure is. Hooray, I guessed correctly. I suppose that makes sense though. You sure were strong. You really looked like you were enjoying yourself when you tried my sweet treats too. People like that always have great potential. So you're here on an errand for the top champion, are you? Yep, we are. I'd completely forgotten that she was supposed to be going around for inspections. Thankfully, I just happened to be here today to give cakes to my, to my staff. Phew, lucky me. Very well then. Is it time for me to get a taste of our new champion's strength? I suppose so. <laughs> oh, what fun. Let's go somewhere more suited for battling. So we don't have to do any kind of complicated Pokemon trainer tests anymore. We can just walk up to the trainer, challenge them, and move on with the big battle. So let's see, they're gonna be a lot stronger than they were last time. I remember your olive rolling prowess very well, Zebra. You had such vigor. It was almost as if you had to rastalize into a fighting type yourself. How many gyms have you had, have you, had you been to when you first came here to mind? Was it your first? The Cortando gym is close to the academy, so many young trainers just start out, starting out like to come here first. With that in mind, La Primera asked me to go soft on trainers, like a nice sponge cake. I feel sad for my sweet little bugs, though, since that means they quite often lose their battles. Hehe, <laughs> but opportunities like this get me excited because I can finally show my true skill. Allow me to need you into submission. <laughs> oh no. So here comes a real battle against Gym Leader Katie, the bug type Gym Leader. And they have low kicks to start things off. So like I said, we have Talonflame. With it being a fire flying type, has a type advantage. Don't expect me to be a sweet today and don't cry when you taste bitter defeat. So I think we'll start. Obviously we have a lot of moves here. The most damaging now is going to be still Heat Wave. They're gonna start with Sucker Punch though, which Definitely hurts a bit. As long as Talonflame doesn't flinch from it, though, we're fine. So that is gonna be almost a one-hit takedown. I am curious to see what level the Pokemon we're fighting are. I didn't get a chance to see that, but not too bad of a start. 65, so we do have like a level lead here. They're gonna try Sucker Punch again. That definitely hurts. All right, here comes Heat Wave. Gotcha. All right then, super effective, of course. So that does some good work, but that's only their first Pokemon. They're gonna have four or five more here, right? I can only assume they'll have a full team. A little bit of HP is restored with our Shell Bell, and we get level 75 for Talonflame. Now they have Fortress, so we can keep our current Pokemon while it's raining. But since it's raining, maybe I should be using Aerial Ace instead? Well, definitely not against Fortress. We definitely wanna use Heat Leaf. All right, let's try this out then and see if it's enough to take you down. 
Almost, come on. They had sturdy, of course, so they're able to endure the hit. We get a little bit of health back though, which is always great. Now they're, they're what are they gonna use? Curse, uh-oh. What is curse gonna be like? Their speed fell, but their attack rose. Is that gonna be it? And their defense rose, but won't be enough for them to salvage the one HP they have left. There we go. So that's super effective for us. And that'll be Fortress defeated. Two Pokemon down already. And only one HP restored from that one. That makes sense, because we only did one HP worth of damage. But Heracross is up next. And that is definitely, I think it might just be bug fighting, maybe bug flying, I can't remember. But it's bug something. But I think we can handle it. Super effective. Um, let's try Aerial Ace this time, just because I don't know if the rain is lowering the fire damage, but that was super effective. Really nice to see that. So you can see we're bringing the damage quite strongly here to Katie. And we're slowly getting our health back from it too. So with a bunch more experience coming in, Spydops is up next. We're gonna keep our current Pokemon. Ooh, this thing was pretty cool. Can use Silk Trap against Talonflame. What will that do? Protect itself. So this might not do any damage. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We sort of just start even though, but it looks like the rain's gone away. I don't know if that was gonna affect anything, if that was just a visual effect. I didn't wanna risk it, so we're just gonna try another Aerial Ace. And that one is gonna do most of the job. It still has a little bit of health left over. We're climbing back our own health pretty quickly. Now it's using Throw Chop, and ooh, that does damage us down a little bit more. But our Flame Body is gonna set you ablaze. It's always a big advantage to, you know, if somebody attacks Sound Flame, it's most likely gonna set them on fire. It was hurt by its burn, and was it enough to make it faint? Not quite enough, so we'll do one last. It's gonna use Silk Trap again, Never mind. So I'll defend against this, but at the same time, if the burn can just do a little bit more damage, we'll be fine. It's not too big of a deal. It's just sort of burning time, what do you know? So, will that be enough? Ah, not quite. Just a little bit more is all we need. So can we finally land this Aerial Ace? Yes, we can, just finish you off without too much of an issue. It wasn't, you know, a struggle as much as it was just taking up a lot of time. So with that done, we're back to 160 health. And we're taking on, I think, your fourth Pokemon, Ursaring. Now this is the one that had the bug terrestrialization. Perseverance is important for bug types. It's time to leap towards victory. We'll see about that one. Here comes Ursaring. So Ursaring seems you know, a little odd for the time being, but if we battle and then terrestrialize with the flying type and then use Aerial Ace, this should do all the damage we need it to if you terrestrialize into a bug type. All right, here we go. So if we can defeat Ursaring, this is our first gym leader defeated in today's episode. So it'd be a pretty huge thing to get done. My sweet little bear, show me your new form as if you were a bug emerging from its cocoon. Here we go. The Terra battle is about to commence. We taste the sweet delicacy of victory. Oh, Ursa Ring here, get in the way. So we're starting with their air release against this bug Terra type. And that is almost a one hit takedown. Oh my goodness, so close. We do jump up 19 health there. So that's quite a lot for one hit. They're gonna use Crunch on us, which definitely hurts a little bit, but we get that burn back on you again. Things are looking good for us here. We just need to hit one more shot. The burn does a tiny bit more damage, not enough to defeat them but this will, for sure. So a huge aerial ace to finish off Ursa Ring. And there we go. Very nice. So there we go, our first gym leader defeated. And some extra health back too, what do you know? We defeated gym leader Katie. Good job, Talonflame, that was all you this time. I see you've emerged from your chrysalis and become a beautiful new you. Yes, we have. We've grown so much, haven't we? Now 
That was quite the battle. I must say that your skill rivals that of even La Primera. Ah, how sweet it is to battle without holding back, even if I end up losing. I am beginning to think that going too soft on people may be no good for either party. My culinary teacher, Mr. Kofu, did tell me to put more of myself into my baking after all. I think I may try conducting battles in more of my own style from now on. If trainers complain that the Cortando gym is suddenly more difficult, I'll just tell them that not all pastries are sweet. Goodbye for now. I hope to see you again someday. Well, maybe we'll swing by and buy a pastry. But I guess the other gym leader, Kofu, taught Katie culinary stuff. That's so cool. So, with that finished up, I don't want to waste too much time. Obviously, we probably need to heal our Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, well, we'll have to go heal our Pokemon, but then I want to switch straight over to the next gym leader, which for us, I believe, was Kofu, um, the water-type gym leader. So that'll be pretty cool to take on next, and we definitely have Pokemon that should be good for handling that, so I want to make the absolute most of it. For right now, let's go over here as soon as we can so that we can... Wait, what was that? Hello? Are you a, a trainer? Well, baby. I'm not sure. What are they looking for? Uh, do you have the Pokemon Fulbebe? They can carry different colored flowers, right? Could you train me a Fulbebe for my Snob? Any color of flower is fine by me. Fulbebe, do we have Fulbebe? I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to take a look. And of course it doesn't gray out the ones that aren't Fulbebe, so I'll have to really search for it. So it seems like I unfortunately do not have a Fulbebe. I have a Floet, which I think might evolve into well, baby, I'm not entirely sure, but we're just gonna go heal and then move on to the next trainer. Oh, and it looks like they have something to say. Now that you have the Hall of Fame badge, I've unlocked the judge function for you. Whoa, the judge function. While in your boxes, you can press the plus button twice to navigate to and check the individual strengths inherent to your Pokemon. Or did you already know that I didn't? So that's good to know. So it looks like we are slowly getting some more tips. That's great. So that's good to know that now that we're a Pokemon champion, we get more things enabled for us. But we're gonna go way up here and tackle the third one, which will be the Kaskarafa Gym. Again, battle against Kofu, the gym leader of the Kaskarafa Gym. Let's get to it. So here we are at the Kaskarafa Gym, and guess who's here, it's Kofu. Hey, yeah, uh, step right up. Welcome to the Kaskarafa Gym. Valton Veluza, look who it is. I was expecting someone else. The top champion? Aha, I see, Mosquito put you up to this, did she? It feels like just yesterday that you were out collecting your badges, and now look at you, already champion rank. You're like one of those fish Pokemon that completely changes shape and name as it evolves. Awful life, what a great catch. And now this, our promising up and comer, here to test my abilities himself. Don't worry, this old man's used to facing harsh reviewers, part of the restaurant business. Alrighty then, you ready to battle this old man and see if he's still fit to be called gym leader? Of course I am. That's what I like to hear, right this way. So we are going for our rematch against the gym leader Kofu. This will be fun. So we have returned to the beautiful Kaskarafa to rematch right here with the big man himself, Kofu. Ever since you fought for that choice seaweed for me, all my dishes using it have been big hits. Thanks for that. Guess it's no surprise you did so well with that with, well, with being worthy of champion rank. Goodness gracious, but do I ever meet all kinds of people while doing this job? I've seen people like yourself who run full speed ahead like a raging river and plenty of people who settle down like a calm lake. We older folk tend to prefer the latter, of course, but this old man himself finds that a bit dull. Rivers flow into the ocean. That water then climbs up into the clouds and becomes rain. I am Kofu the turret, ever changing, just like water. Now come see what I'm made of. All right then, let's go for it. Our rematch against the water type gym leader, Kofu. And they have Veluza, what do you know? Now I was silly and forgot to change my Pokemon out, so I'm in a bit of a disadvantage at the moment. Good ingredients don't need no cover up spices. Get ready for fresh, raw old man Kofu. So, Feluz is gonna break the mold here, whatever that means. And we might just try to like fight our way through it. I don't know if that's a good idea. We're just gonna switch our Pokemon really quickly. I want to switch to Nascarada for now, right now. That way, if it does land a water type move here when we're fighting, we should be able to just not take very much damage from it at all. See, so here comes Nascarada. And it's using Aqua Cutter, which as you can see, does very little damage. But 
Now Scrot is in a fantastic position where they can just use Flower Trick over and over and just do some easy damage to whatever comes our way. So here we go, boom, the lose is down. And of course, it's a critical hit. Not too surprising, the lose is gonna faint from it. What will we see next though? Some easy experience and level uh, something for you know, Scrotta. Pelipper is up next. So you know what, Pelipper's gonna be water flying. That might be a good opportunity then for, not for Lodzil, for Palmot. Because that way it's doubly super effective. It's gonna do a ton of damage. So let's see what we can get with this one. They're using Drizzle, so it's Dark Serene, which isn't too big of a deal for us. We'll just use Discharge. It should just be a one-hit takedown, I would believe. But it seems like a lot of these trainers, these rematches, all the love Pokemon levels are level 65. So that's good to keep in mind. I feel like we're just gonna get stronger and stronger throughout today's episode, making it even easier to take them on. But Lug Trio is coming up next. Now, if I remember correctly, Lug Trio isn't like a ground type. It's a little bit different. It might be water type, but it looks so goofy. I love it. So let's try to battle this and just do Discharge again. And that's enough to defeat it in one go. So yeah, things are looking quite good here with another critical hit too. Great job. So what is left for us? I think there's two more Pokemon left in this, Clawitzer. Now Clawitzer is, if I'm not mistaken, also a dragon, is it water dragon? If that's the case, we might wanna be careful here and just use Floatzel. Use Floatzel's ice moves to damage us down as much as we can and see where we go from there. I guess we'll see for ourselves here in just a moment. That is definitely the dragon type one. So battle, not very effective. All right, well, never mind. I, I'm, how am I getting that mixed up? I don't know, there's too many Pokemon. There's seven million thousand of them. Um, I guess we're going back to either Mascarada or Palma. I'd like to see Mascarada for the last little fight here. So for right now, I guess we'll just switch back over to Palma. Sorry. I mean, I think that ice is fine against water. I don't think it's like not very effective. And even then it would just, wouldn't it bounce out to be normal? Normal effectiveness? I don't know. Let's use Discharge. And there we go, that's at least super effective. So, some easy experience. And Crabominable is our last one. Now this is definitely the one where, um, He's gonna terrestrialize. So this is where we need to be ready. We'll switch back over to Masquerada. We'll terrestrialize Masquerada and we'll, we'll hit it with the uh, the flower trick. That should be great. <laughs> Batten down the hatches and prepare for a storm. This what this is what makes battles exciting. All right, then we are Crabominable. Let's just battle with. Well, see, it's just not like, you know, right now. But once we terrestrialize, and once they terrestrialize, it will be. So right now it's an ice type. All right, here we go. I'm ready for it, so I hope you are too. We have our terrestrialized Miascarada. So let's see what you got here. A Crabominable terrestrializing. Think outside the crab trap, I say. Oh man, these guys are filled with puns. Every single gym leader has so many jokes relating to their gimmick. But let's see for ourselves. Will this be enough? I think it will be. I'd be very surprised if it's not, because I that's a water terrestrialize. So these don't like pull out many surprises. It's really the same exact fight as it was before, just more difficult. So. Yeah, it really shouldn't be in for too many surprises so far, you know, for the rest of today's episode, I don't think, but I guess we'll see together. Either way, that's a critical hit, so that is Crabominable defeated. And that's also our second gym leader down, too. There's still plenty more to go, but I'm glad we got it done. And we defeated gym leader Kofu. Order a fresh and loss. My mind's as clear as still water. All right. So there we go, gym leader Kofi defeated. You really put the pressure on. Guess I should have expected no less from someone with La Primera's seal of approval. What a catch. The wildest currents, for better or worse, pull in everything around them and have a really wild and drastic effects on their surroundings. That makes those friends of yours who stay by your side all the more important. 
Whew. Your youthful vigor's got my motivation flowing up like a rising tide. Next time you see Mosquita, tell her that old man Kofu's flowing and crashing more than ever. Don't forget to tell her, young friend, and come back to see me again now, you hear? I would love to. See, a second gen leader is done. We are now moving on to the third one, which should be the grass gen leader, Brassius, from I think the artisan gen. So we'll have to heal up our Pokemon and then head over that way. So we are here at the Artisan Gym. Of course, we need to battle against Brashus, the gym leader of the Artisan Gym. Pretty simple. <laughs> Does the same thing every time. So we'll just have to head over there. And this time, I have Talonflame out in front. That's actually the Pokemon I want to use for this, with it being the Fire type. It should be pretty good against any Grass type stuff thrown our way. But you know, we'll have other options along the way too. But for now, that's what we're fully focused on: is just having Talonflame out against Brashus. So yeah, let's let's just go talk to them over here. They're sitting to the side like normal. Avant-garde! You are Zebra. No, you are the artist Zebra Guard. My name's Zebra. That is of no consequence. Each time I recall our artistic battle, I've found myself wishing to face you once again. I'm so very glad that you are here. Praise Mother Nature. I had planned to meet with the top champion today, but I have just now canceled that plan. Shall we instead talk of art together? Uh, no thanks. What? You came in the top champion's stead? Well, I cannot be bothered by that. I don't care what the reason is. If we can make a masterpiece together once more, then fine. Well then, Zebra, are you ready to open a wide door to the world of art? Sure. Let's go for it. Avant-garde, very well then. Let's just head to my studio. Oh, so it's nighttime now with this battle. Behold, Zebra, the sight of Artisan's Windmill. It catches the winds that blow across Paldea and slowly yet powerfully spins ever on. My leaping down from that windmill to appear before those who would challenge my gym lends an added depth to our battles. I see. I knew you would understand my reasoning, Zebra. Ha 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 ha. Though I believe I can spare my legs today as we are sure to create my greatest masterpiece yet, even if I do not align from above. But I digress, we are both artists, are we not? We have no further use for words now. I assume you are ready? Let our collaborative work of art begin. Okay, so our third gym leader battle of the day. This time it is all about Brassius. Of course, the grass gym leader of Artisan. And they have Lilligan, so cute. So Talonflame should be doubly good, of course, against this typing. Let us ponder the art we will create together, Zebra. So with this one, of course, fire is good against it, but so is Aerial Ace. So let's try Aerial Ace really quickly. And it does quite a lot of damage, almost enough to defeat it entirely. Now it's using Light Screen now, so it might block a move here. Not too much more I can do then. Okay, it blocks against special moves, so keep that in mind when I'm looking at this. So like, that's a special move, this is physical, I believe? We'll find out, we'll find out. So let's try Aerial Ace. And that hits no problem. Excellent. Okay then, so experience is gonna roll in from that one and Bray Loom is up next. So we're gonna keep with the current Pokemon we have. So we are seeing some new Pokemon this time, that's for sure. Oh, there's Bray Loom, so cute. So I think with this one, we'll just Aerial Ace again. Let's see how much damage that ends up doing. It is enough for a one hit takedown. Two down so far without even a sweat. Down Flame has this cover, no problem. So even more easy experience. Serena is up next, which I think might be Grass Psychic. No, no, I think this one might be grass fighting. I can't quite remember. I guess we'll see. Well, it's still super effective either way. Let's give it an aerial ace. It's pretty good, but not a one hit takedown. This is maybe where I should start using fly, but it's gonna use trap kick, which doesn't do too, very, too much. It's not very effective. We can handle it just fine. So we're going for another aerial ace. It's just sort of the move of the day so far. There we go. So Serena fainted. and we get most of that health back. A good chunk of it, cool. So the opposing team's light screen wore off, which we weren't really too worried about. Our Bolova, now I think this is the evolution of the little olive Pokemon? Yes it is, wonderful, so cool. So we'll just try Aerial Ace again. 
and it does good, even if it's only half its health. That's why I probably should be using Fly, right? But Seed Sower, ooh. Grass grew to cover the battlefield, which doesn't really worry us too much. And we're back to full health. Things are looking good there. Now this is in Grassy Train, but it's already here, so, because that wasn't super useful. It did have some of its health restored, but not enough to be too much of a concern. We'll use Fly this time just to be sure. So it's gonna fly up high here. It's gonna use Leech Seed, but there's no one there to use it on. We're too high up in the in the sky right now, so we'll just fly right back down to you. Full force. Here it comes. Ooh, excellent. So that's our ball, our Bolivia, our Arb Oliva, our Bolivia. Yeah, there we go. That one's just hard to pronounce. Pseudo Wudo is up next, but we know too well on how this is gonna work. This word concept is the deep rooting nature of plants. A briar's thorns are not easily thwarted, or whatever that said. Pseudo is coming out. This is definitely gonna be terrestrialized, so we're just going to battle, terrestrialize, and then do, I think, just aerial ace for now. We have a 10 level lead. This should be really good. I guess we'll give it a try and find out for ourselves. Here's my Terra Pokemon. Now show yours, Brassius. I do hope this work lives up to my expectations. I shall call it Trulawudo Part Two. I like the name. A little hard to pronounce, but here it comes. So it is no longer a rock or ground type. It is entirely grass which means we are an excellent opportunity to take it down. Let's see if it's a one hit takedown or if I'll have to put a little extra work into it. Yeah, not quite. It is actually pretty strong. It's using Stone Edge against us, which still does some major damage we gotta be careful of. So this might be my chance to um, use Fly. Fly way up there and just do as much damage as we can because right now this is looking really rough. Gonna try using Stone Edge, which of course misses. And then we just fly all the way back down. It is healing over time because of this grass stuff on the, on the battlefield. Oh man, I'm a bit nervous. Down Flames using Fly. Here it comes. Oh, it's almost enough, come on. That is not good though, we need more. If it hits us with another Rock Titan move, we're in trouble. Here comes Stone Edge, oh no. Ah, oh, that stinks. So Talonflame is gonna be down here right at the end of the fight. Not what we wanted. That is really unfortunate. So we'll be able to finish off Sudowoda here, no problem. It's just, I wish it could've been better. So we have things like Floatzel's Ice Punch, which should be super effective. Come on, this is our chance. Come on, just one last Ice Punch to finish him off. It should be no problem. There it is. So no experience for Talonflame there, but they've been our front runner Pokemon for a while, so they've been getting sort of prioritized experience anyways. So regardless, we have defeated our third gym leader of today, Rashius. All right then, cool. We're not so happy about it, but I think it was quite the art piece. Ah, Vanguard. All right, well, we get a bunch of prize money for that one. Seeing you in the midst of battle, you were like a unique gradient, subtly changing hues. Riotous and yet gentle, such contrast, I lack the words to express it. My hat goes off to you. My battles with you are truly a gift. Each time I am made to remember how I felt so long ago when I first ventured into this world of art. Ah, I almost forgot. You were here for the gym inspection in the top champion stead, correct? Well, that is of no consequence. Report on my gym here as you see fit. Ah, my inspiration is overflowing, as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. Well, it was great catching up with them. It's interesting how you know some of the trainers have sort of changed, but also have seen the same. Anyways, that was great. We need to do the same thing we've been doing multiple times now. Go heal up our Pokemon and take on the next gym. Okay, so we're back here in Medali. Before we get too far, I do see that you need something. Do we have enough battles here? 10 trainers? Awesome, so we do get a prize here, an amulet coin. An item to be held by a Pokemon, it doubles any prize money received as long as the holder joins the battle at least once. That's cool. 
So, I should probably put that on a Pokemon if we have Pokemon without hollowed items. But they all are holding something, which is probably more important right now. But either way, we're back in Mandala to take on the normal type gym leader of Larry. So, to do that, we need to go into the building right over here and just initiate it. So, yeah, should be good to go. Should be a lot of fun. This will be our fourth one, so after this, we'll be halfway through, too. So, we're slowly chipping through it. Well, let me make sure my Pokemon are healed up, right? I guess they are. It's time for a meeting with the boss, but it seems I've got a visitor with no appointment and sad. This is absolutely something she'd do. No, no, I understand everything, I assure you. I look forward to her battle, then. Oh, of course, it's no problem. La Primera is my boss, so I have to do as she says, but now she's ordering students around? It was more of an agreement than an order, but... Can we get going? I see. So you're helping the boss free up some time to enter the t a tournament at the academy? Well, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. I'd never let myself get roped in like that. Well, let's knock this task off our list then. No wasting time, shall we? Yep, sounds good. Let's head to the treasure eatery then. So yeah, that's where we battled Larry last time, the treasure eatery, so we're heading back there. And look at this place, still as wonderfully detailed as before. You were, you already faced me during the elite tasks, so I doubt this will leave much of an impression on you. In any case, let's get started, shall we? I'll be facing you in my role as a gym leader, so I'm going to use my regular team. They all belong to the normal type. Normal as in plain, average, unremarkable, run of the mill. I'm pretty fond of them, you know? They suit me perfectly. I'm about as ordinary as you can get. People. Pokemon, there's no need to overcomplicate things. Nowadays, people only seem to want a shock factor, something weird, something bizarre. At the end of the day, though, nothing beats the relief of coming home, even after a fun vacation. When all said and done, simplicity is strongest. All right then, so for the third time now, we are battling against Larry. You are challenged by Gym Leader Larry, the normal type leader of the Medali Gym. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. All these other gym leaders, it's only our second time battling them. But for him specifically, it's our third. The boss takes some getting used to, you know. You got your work cut out for you. See, so yeah, quite the busy guy here. We don't have too much that's gonna be good against a um, normal type as Talonflame, because I forgot to switch him out again. But we'll just do some heat waves, just some damage, and now we get a nice critical to start things off. Now they're using Body Slam, which eh, does a decent chunk of damage, especially with it being a critical hit. Oh, uh, and we're paralyzed. That's not what we wanna see. Let's see if I can just get an aerial ace off or something before that paralyzation, yeah, it takes too much work on us. But there we go, Oink alone has fainted, and with it we can switch our Pokemon over to something a little bit more natural for fighting normal type Pokemon. That is gonna be Palma with its fighting ability. It's the only thing that's super effective against normal, but as you can see, we get two level ups. I'm gonna switch over as the Dunsparce gets taken out here. So let's we'll switch over to Palmont. And the Dunsparce I think is both normal something, it's a dual type, but I can't remember what. So here comes Palmont. And here comes the Dunsparce. For right now, close combat will be more than enough, I think, to do away with you. But I guess we'll see together. Yes, it is. Now that will lower our defense. So if we do end up getting hit sooner or later, we are gonna be in a bit of a predicament. For right now, the Dunsparce is going to faint from that one. And that'll be some great experience for the whole team, as Komala is the next one. So we will keep our current Pokemon and keep fighting it out. That's so cute, it's so adorable. It's, it's of course drowsing. But we'll just use close combat and do some more damage to you. There it is, it does, it's such an effective move, you know? So that is three of Larry's Pokemon already defeated. And so far, each leader has only had five Pokemon, not six. Will that be the case this time? We have a Braviary, which I guess is a flying normal type. But we caught this just last episode. So I think we'll just use Discharge for this one. If we can save the close combat for when we really need it, that's always fantastic. So a Discharge is enough to get rid of Braviary, no problem. So let's see what's last here on the menu as Sir Raptor comes out. I will not switch our Pokemon. In fact, just stay with what we have. You're just plain strong, aren't you? But I always output my best results when it's crunch time. Here comes Raptor. 
So Straptor, of course, is going to be terrestrialized into just a normal type in a moment here. So we're probably just better off using close combat without it being terrestrialized because it's just gonna terrestrialize an electric type, which just won't benefit us too much. Time to show what we can really do. Some good work as always, please. Okay, well, here we go. The final fight here for G Jim Leader Larry. Will they be able to handle it? I guess we'll see. So far, we've been destroying these gym leaders. That close combat comes in, and it is enough for a one-hit takedown. That's what we want to see. Seraptor is down, and along with it, for the third time, Larry has been defeated. That is great. So, tons of experience coming in there. We get level 77 for Doxmon. A third serving of defeat, huh? I guess so. I should keep you full for a while, right? But <laughs> I guess not. You're a bit too much for an average show like me to handle. But I think I understand now. Why I was told to use flying types when I battle as a member of the Elite Four, I mean. There's scenery you'll never even notice if you stick to flat, well-trodden paths. It'll do me good to admire talent that soars as high as yours from time to time. Well, if the boss says I should do so, I'll do so. She won't catch me doing it for fun, though. In any case, I've been strictly told to cut down on my overtime hours, so I'll call it a day. Blair is the only person whose work orders are to work less. Well, that was a lot of fun, and that means we are officially halfway through rematching all the gym leaders. Next up, I think, is going to be Iono, the Electro-type gym leader in LaVincia, so we'll heal up and get over that way. So we're here at LaVincia. I do want to talk to this person, because, you know, they are representing, and I defeated five trainers. I need to defeat six, so it won't even count. I'll, I'll do that eventually. Not now, though. Got plenty of other things to worry about, and since we are going, of course, against Iona, who is the um, Electro-type gym leader, I do not want Talonflame out in front. I think for right now, my best bet will be to have something like Masquerada, which isn't type advantage, but not disadvantage. You know, lightning against grass, lightning doesn't do too much. So I think that's a great way to start things off with this fight as we head into our fifth rematch of the day. This one was definitely one of the most eclectic trainers that we've ran into so far in this adventure. Primera, your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my electro web. Who's it, what's it? Iono. Not quite. Hello, hello, hola, ciao and bonjour. Wait, you aren't Gita? It's me, Zebra. Say what? You just came, just became champion and you're already helping out La Primera? Weren't you just doing your gym test like yesterday? You're really kicking butt out there. Wait, so basically what you're telling me is that right now is the perfect time for us to collab? I can see it now. I'll be more popular than ever. Well, it looks like they got some networking plans. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down, friendo. Since you're here to do the inspection for Gita, I'm gonna give you a show you'll never forget. And I don't know about you, but I think it's about time we got down to it. What do you say? Sure, sounds great. Yes, here we go, off to battle land. So of course, I know, like I said before, very eclectic, very interesting little character here. Hopefully we can beat them again, because this one was definitely a bit challenging before, just because we don't have a ton that's super strong against electric types. Besides this, we have Oink Lone's ground type moves that can, that'll help out a bit. But we're back on stream. Here we go. Hello, hello, hola, ciao and bonjour. Welcome to the Iona Zone. It's me, Iona. Today's guest is our brand spanking newest champion, Zebra. You've gone viral among the gym leaders, friendo. You're all we're talking about recently. I remember your gym test well. It was bzz, shocking. This stream is gonna trend like crazy. I can't wait to see those viewer numbers go up, up, up. All right, here we go. Got that camera set up just how I like it. I don't know about you all, but I'm ready to get this battle started. We'll call this stream Gym Leader Iona battles like you've never seen before. Well, let's see if they can win. Will this be a live stream fail? Gym Leader Iono is coming out here, of course, with Kilowattrel as our first Pokemon. Now that's a little bit scary because it's a flying Electric-type. 
Time to put on my serious face. Eyes wide open like a magnemite so you don't miss a thing. So maybe this is where we could actually switch things up a little bit. If it's going to be a flying type, then how do we want to maybe do things a little bit differently? I don't have a ton that's super effective that will also want to run us into issues. So I'm thinking that maybe I just go back over to Darkspawn. I feel like Darkspawn's pretty strong right now. There shouldn't be any issues. The problem is flying is good against grass, right? I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it is. We just learned this. I don't know why I'm un unlearning it, but so. This, I think, is gonna be the most, most neutral thing for us. As Tailwind comes in, making all their Pokemon a little bit faster. Charge the opposing Kilowattro power. Okay, interesting. Um, for right now, we're just gonna try play roughing. As Discharge comes in. Now that does a significant amount of damage. I was not expecting that much coming in from Kilowattro. This might be a proper issue. For right now, we're just gonna play rough. And that does return the favor a fair chunk. I think at this point, we should probably what if I just healed? What if I just did a max potion on Doxbun? Unless it returns with even more damage like that, then we'll be in huge trouble, but for right now, we're still paralyzed, but we're healed. Here comes another discharge, oh my goodness. This time not doing nearly as much. That's good. Let's just play rough. It's gonna use Hurricane. Oh no, that looks like it's doing a lot. Oh no, we're close to getting knocked out, and it couldn't move because it was paralyzed. You're kidding me. Rough, really rough. The Tailwind petered out too though. So what if I use instead, I know this might be a bad idea. We'll try it one more time, but this time do a full restore, which is gonna secure any status condition as well. That's what these items are for. We haven't really used many of these. So let's toss it over. It'll fully restore their health. It'll be cured of paralysis. We'll be Good as new, as they use a quick attack here, which really doesn't do too much. That is much more what I was hoping for. So if I could just land after this Tailwind, which will do a fair chunk of damage, but nothing too crazy. Oh no, that's Tailwind, not, not the other thing. Anyways, come on, come on. We'll use this play rough to finish you off, and now we're in a much better position. So let's see what's next. Maybe I'll keep with uh, Doc's one for now until we're figuring it out. Get some easy experience here. Belly Bolt is up next, which is purely just electric type. We'll keep with Dox Bun. All right. I'm a bit nervous with all this, but I think we can do it. We can just keep playing rough with you and get some, it's very moderate damage, but this is sort of like a slow and steady wins to raise kind of deal. Electromorphosis, I guess it charged Belly Bolt a little bit. The Reflect is coming out. Now that's gonna block special or extreme is stronger against physical moves this time. Okay, so that's physical. This is physical. We could try roar. Just get them out of here. Sure, well, let's try. I haven't actually used this before. Doxman avoided the uh, thunder move and now we're roaring. Will that work? It will. So it'll force another one of their Pokemon out. This time it is going to be. See, I wonder if we forced out their Miss Magius, which isn't an electric type. Will they terrestrialize it now? Or will this mess up their whole plan? Because now this will be super effective. No, they will. Come forth, shiny little light bulb. Be the invention that leads me to victory. Bzz. So no matter what, they always terrestrialize their specific Pokemon. So this won't do too much damage after this. Interesting, I didn't know it worked that way. So we can get rid of their Terra Pokemon before the battle is finished. That is so neat. So we'll try this out for now. You know, getting rid of the Terra Pokemon earlier, sooner rather than later, sounds like a great idea to me. So, the Lick isn't gonna do too much, but they'll use Shadow Ball against us regardless. Which doesn't do a ton of damage. We'll use Lick, as you can see, it's very menial damage. The Talon's gonna peter out. Let's see what we got here with the Charm. Partially lowers the target's attack set. Let's do this. We're gonna use Charm. It's so cute. Attack harshly foul. So even now, if Doxplun does get knocked out here soon, it's not too big of a deal. We can switch over to other Pokemon and deal with it a little bit, but let's just play rough for now. And that is doing some numbers, you know? This is a trash-sized Pokemon, I thought. It's gonna hurt. But there's Doxplun down. So this is where we can change up our strategy a little bit. The Reflect War Offs, so that's gonna help out a ton more too, because I knew that wasn't doing very much damage, but um, we have the Earth Power from Oinkalunk. 
And if, you know, we're dealing with the terrestrialization right now, we might as well try this. Okay, here we go. So let's battle and use Earth Power against Ms. Magius. Zap, rock, paper, pew, pew, pew. Come on out if you're weak to electric stuff. Well, we're, we're not. So here comes Charge Beam. But Oink alone avoided it. That's actually huge. Let's use Earth Power. But they're levitated, so it won't work. I feel like I did this last time, didn't I? All right, um, maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe I should just switch out Masquerada. Okay, yeah, I know. Sorry, very silly, but if it works, it works. I wanna switch out Masquerada and just do flower tricks. All right, come on, here we go. This has gotta be it. So they're gonna use Charge Beam again. What does that do to us right now? I mean, it's an electric type move, so it doesn't do very much. It's not very effective. That's what we wanna see. So we're just gonna try our flower trick here. Just like this. And it should be at the least a critical normal damage kind of thing. Oh, that's enough to get rid of the Magis. There we go. Excellent. But we're not quite done. There's more to this fight left. So let's see what else we can accomplish. We do get a level up though. Luxray is our next Pokemon. We're just gonna keep it. Now that we're in the groove of it, we're just gonna flower trick, flower trick, flower trick. And see if we can't uh, just defeat them pretty easily, right? That'd be the hope. Come on, here it comes. Oh, it is so close, but not quite enough. They're using Ice Fang against us, which that is super effective. That is something we need to be a little bit more afraid of. But flower trick again. Maybe we could just use a normal move, actually. Save the power points for this one, but that's okay. They only have a few more Pokemon left. Anyways, it is very possible we could defeat them here. And we get level 75 for Floatzel as Belly Bull comes back out. You already wasn't at full health. Yeah, so we should be able to finish you off without too much of an issue. Hopefully we attack first here, we do. So that's Belly Bull down. I like how once the terrestrialization music starts, it actually never ends. But um, it charged Belly Bull its power, but they're fainted now, so I don't think that matters too much. What do you have left? Anything? Electrode. I think we'll keep with Meowskarada. Hey Zebra, quit hogging the limelight and let me shine a bit, yo. Sorry. I'm trying to, just trying to give you a good battle. So this definitely has to be the last Pokemon then. We will try the flower trick. And this one isn't, you know, hovering in the air, so if we needed to, we could probably use Oink Alone's ground. Moves. But for right now, we don't have to. We defeated Iona without too much of an issue. It was definitely the most challenging one yet, but overall, we get the victory. And that's a wrap for this stream. Our brand spanking newest champion, Hot Stuff. Yes, we are, okay. So, very cool stuff there. Oh man, I'm not super happy about losing, you know, but. Who's calling? Oh no, it's, it's, it's the stream. Look at those viewer numbers. The Iona Zone's on a roll today. I'm on cloud nine, no, cloud 10. Having someone as popular as you on my stream was a great idea. I'm trending like the internet's mad at me. Oh no. We should call up like this regularly. Don't go appearing on any other channel, so. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm done. Tell a premiere what a sensation I was, okay? Your eyeballs are mine. Caught in my web. Who's it, what's it? I don't know. Signing off. Oh, nice to see everybody on the stream. Quite the battle, though. Glad we could get through it. And that means there should be three more remaining. The next one, of course, is going to be in a different town. That should be the Psychic Gym Leader Tulip from the Alfernada Gym. So once again, we'll heal up and go check it out. So we are here at the beautiful Alfernada. I forgot this over here, skill swap, nice. But we're gonna be taking on the Psychic Gym Leader that is waiting for us here, of course. So that should be pretty cool. That'll be all the way at the end this way. Oh, I do see there's another, I think there might've been another team on the top of the building. Huh, hard to tell now, but we'll just hit over like this and battle them. I think their name was Tulip, right? So that should be pretty cool. Zip, we'll talk to them right over here. Nice to see you again. Oh, if it isn't Zebra, it's been too long. Your beauty has become even more refined since the last time we met. 
You're too kind. Oh, accepting compliments with grace, I see. How wonderful. I hope you remain that way. So you're here in place of Gita, are you? Just between you and me, I'm not exactly her biggest fan. That bewitching aura of hers overlaps too much with my own style. So it may be for the best that she sends someone else for the job. With you, I feel like I can really give this battle all I've got. Without further ado, are you ready to pursue the quintessential beauty together? Sure. Oh, wonderful. Let's head to the battle court. So this seems pretty cool to me. Now, when it comes to types that are good against Psychic, it should be Bug, Dark, and Ghost. So, I'm a little bit worried, but honestly, Meowskarata should do just fine. Ah, the rush of exhilaration before a battle. Every cell in my body is humming with excitement. Having a totally amazing opponent such as yourself makes the feeling even more powerful. You know what? I'm really happy right now. A diamond in the rough that I helped the, to polish is now sparkling as bright as the finest of gems. Seeing others working so hard allows me to work hard myself and never shed a tear. Sadness is not in my vocabulary after all. The closest emotion is allow, I allow is the beauty of surprise. Allow me to teach you how to do true emotional spectrum practice. All right then, let's go for it. You're challenged by Gym Leader Tulip. This one's gonna be an emotional ride, right? For Ridgeraf is our first battle here, but since we have, of course, Meowskrat out in front, you wanna know the secret of my beauty? I'll enroll you in my most difficult hands-on course. We can use Dark Pulse, which is super effective and has a high chance of landing criticals to do a lot of damage to a lot of these psychic type Pokemon. They're gonna use Iron Head against us, which doesn't do too much. So we're fine for now. We'll use another Dark Pulse. And what's good is that we can also use our bug type U-turn move, which is not only super effective against psychic type moves, but can get us out of there to switch over to other Pokemon. We got Gallade next, which if I remember correctly, should be easy to handle, but I guess we'll see in just a moment. I guess we've never battled it, so we'll find out together. We'll use this Dark Pulse, and that doesn't do as much as I was hoping. It's using X-Scissor now, which does a ton, way more than I was hoping. So that's a huge problem. Uh, so I gotta be careful here. I probably just want like Dock Spun or something because I don't want like Palmon. It's, it's too good against um, fighting types. So maybe I'll just try Dock Spun again. I will have to revive Masquerada when I get the chance. I might wanna do that now. It might just be for the better, but this is already proving to be quite difficult, right? So let's go to our bag. I will do Max Revive on Masquerada. This is our first time using a Max Revive in this game, I think. So it should be fainting. The Psycho Cut coming out here too. We are just gonna try a play rough. And there we go, we got you. So that was super effective. Good to see. And I guess a ghost type move would have also been good. But you know, that was fine enough. Um, Gardevoir is up next. Now Gardevoir, we're gonna keep with what we currently have and see what ends up happening. Hmm. So yeah, this is super effective using the Lick move, and that does have a chance of paralyzing him. So even though that doesn't do a ton of damage, what are the chances? Ah, not quite high, I guess, this time, but Psychic is being used against Nap as a ton. So let's maybe just keep battling with you until we can hopefully paralyze you. Come on, come on, super effective. But it's no paralyzation, so they're gonna use Psychic against us again, which is enough to defeat the, the, the Dock Spun. So sorry. But now this is fine, because this is where we could switch back to Meowskarada if we wanted to, I'm pretty certain. And would that do, it's just normally effective. I, I I don't entirely know why. So you know what, maybe we'll keep it for now. We'll just switch over to Talonflame and do Steel Wing. All right, here we go. So, Steel Wing coming in. Might be enough to defeat Gardevoir, I sure hope so. There it is, super effective, much better. And a bunch of experience here, we get level 77, Espartha. I guess I'll keep my current Pokemon. I, I don't know if I should have done that. I don't remember this being a dark type though. Anyways, we could just use some basic moves here, like Heat Wave. And that does most of its health right away. Even if it uses Psychic here. Which does hurt, for sure. We'll just use another Heat Wave. 
And there we go. Ispartha is down with a critical hit, which means we should probably switch to Meowth now. This is gonna be the best time for it. For whatever terrestrialization they're throwing out here. Okay, so switch Pokemon over to Meowth We won't be using terrestrialization because that'd be for grass type. But here it comes. I'm shook and not in a good way. Unpleasant surprises are not good for my skin. That's certainly a problem, but not anything I can worry about for right now. So it says not very effective, but it will be once she terrestrializes. Come here, my little Forgus. It's time for a skin cleanse. You'll become a new you. Here it goes. Seeing a lot of terrestrialization today because of all these gym leader rematches. It's pretty cool. Okay, so with that finally done, let's just take you out with the Dark Pulse, right? Might not be a one hit takedown, but it is damaging you down. The Moon Blast is coming in, and that is super effective, putting us in a big problem again. I'll just do one more Dark Pulse. Hope it's a critical. It's not. So we might be in trouble here. Here comes another Moon Blast. That's, whoa, no way, Mascarada held on with the critical hit and everything. Thank you so much, that was amazing. So if we can land one more Dark Pulse, no way, I can't believe that. So impressed, that was amazing. We've done it, we've defeated another gym trainer. And that's gonna be some extra experience, two more level ups for everybody, and that's the end of this battle. A shocking glow up to be sure. Got even more money for uh, winning. You're the total package. I expected no less. Beauty, strength, you've got it all. You know, I'm in my line of work. People who lock talent in one area or the other often fade away quickly, never to be heard of again. Met with all kinds of setbacks, they fall into corruption in their desperation and end up even more miserable than the mundane do. It would be better for those people if they never had even the slightest bit of talent to begin with. Don't fade away, Zebra. I want to see just how far your talent can go. This can be a promise between us. I hope you won't break it. You did splendidly today. Thank you for everything. Okay, well, quite the send off there from Tulip. Very cool to see it. So that is now six gym leaders defeated. We only have two remaining. So we're off to do the same exact thing. Heal up our Pokemon, get to the next area and defeat the next one. So we are here at the Glaciato gym. I don't know if we've had enough battles to do this one. 11 trainers, I think so. Yeah, we got a prize. Blizzard, a howling blizzard is summoned to strike opposing Pokemon. This may also leave the opposing Pokemon Frozen. Actually sounds really good. I might have to consider teaching that the Floatzel if it's possible. But for right now, not actually anything I want to worry about. We're going to be putting um, Talonflame up in front to deal with all these ice type Pokemon. They wanted to see something actually. What was that? Um, they were the person who let us go down the thing. Try the Snow Slipper. I already have. So maybe that's something I can do extras about at some point and will maybe get me something more. I don't know. But for right now, I'm very focused on our our mission at hand to defeat all of the gym leaders again, now with Gresha. Huh, I recognize you. Are you here to hit the slopes? I don't recall the snow being too good today. I'm here for a battle. Ah, oh, for real? I've got something important to be dealing with in a bit, you know? Well, actually, I am that important thing. Oh, I see, you're here to cover for Gita. So your dream came true. You're champion rank now. You must be so happy. Oh, my bad. That sounded a lot more sarcastic than I had intended. Don't get me wrong, I really think it's amazing. Just, it's complicated for me, that's all. Anyway, you came to test my skills, right? Let's just get this over with. Sure. Let's head outside. You best hope it's not snowing. So it seems like they still have a lot of struggle with, you know, the fact that they can't be where they wanna be right now, but Maybe they can, you know, just put their all into training, get even stronger, and give us a tough battle here. So this is our seventh gym leader rematch of today. We've been keeping it busy. Well, tough luck for you. The snowy mountains are on my side today. 
These league mandated inspections happen a few times a year. If we don't show up for the job, we'll lose our positions as gym leaders. Gita always says it's just a formality, but I've already had to give up on being a pro snowboarder. If she takes away the talents I still have to show, then what'll be left? Sorry, didn't mean to bring the temperature down. It's simply enough. It's simple enough, really. All I need to do is make sure the power of my Pokemon chills you to the bone. We'll see about that one then. We are challenged by Gym Leader Grusha, the Ice Gym Leader of the uh, Glaciato Gym. So starting with Frozmoth here, I think we can handle this one. This is with flying and ice, right? Conditions are all right, I guess. Good enough to defeat you anyway. We'll see about that one. So, yeah, we have a lot of super effective stuff here, as you can see, the most damaging of which would still be heat weight. So, let's see how that works for us. It's quite a lot, super effective enough for a one hit takedown. Excellent. All right then, so with that, we get to Titan. Um, I think we want to keep our current Pokemon. If I'm remembering correctly, I guess we'll see. Here it comes, the goal is to Titan. Um, yep, we'll just be able to do Heat Wave. And that is a lot of damage, but this thing is super buff. And it's gonna liquidation against us, that's super effective. It does a really good number, but the Flame Body's gonna put a burn on you. So Titan was burned. Okay, so this is where things can get interesting for sure. Will we be able to survive through this? I think we could, if we could just hit it with the Heat Wave. Oh, most, come on. If it hits us with another uh, water time move, it could be a huge problem for us, but here it comes, you better be ready. Okay, it wasn't as damaging this time, that's good. But it's gonna get hurt by burn a little bit more, and that'll make it faint. So what do we have next to begin some more experience? Bear tech. I think I wanna keep a Talon Flame. I know it's a little low on health right now, so I might wanna switch out soon. For right now, here's Bear tech. I will just do our super effective heat wave and see if we can't just one shot you. Oh, almost, come on. It does get that burn again. So bear tick's gonna be burned. We'll get healed. And it's gonna use icicle crash, which won't do too much damage, but you know, it's still more damage to us. And that's what I'm concerned about. So it's hurt by its burn. This might be the best chance we have to heal tail and flame up with a max potion right there. Because yes, it's gonna damage us down again, but not by too much. So we can handle it and then just hit it with its last little bit of damage it needs. It might even just lose its health here by the burn. Here comes the icicle, icicle crash again. It's not too much, like we're not too concerned about that. And there goes the last of its health. So hopefully we'll start at an even, even standing here. We'll see, what is the next Pokemon coming in? Weavile, okay, that's a dark ice, I'm pretty sure. So we'll see how this one goes as Weavile has made its appearance. It's using pressure, which I don't know if that does, but right now we will just do more Heat Wave. Oh, and it's a one hit takedown. Much better. Yeah, when it's not like a really big high defense Pokemon or something with a ton of health, we're able to get through it, and that's almost all of our health healed at. So here comes our last Pokemon, Altaria. We're gonna keep our current Pokemon because that's gonna be Terrasilize. I won't let things heat up any further. Time to bring the deep freeze. Let's see about that one. So here's Altaria. We're gonna battle. It's not very effective yet, but it will be soon enough. Let it freeze, let it snow, let it pile on up on top of us. Okay, here we go. A final Pokemon for Grusha getting terrestrialized. And we're not terrestrializing ourselves just yet. I just don't think it's really necessary. Because that would just make it flying, which wouldn't be too good. <laughs> we'll be able to hit you with everything we got with this heat wave. It should still do a good chunk of damage. Not a one hit, but pretty darn close to it. So if we hit you again, that should be this battle finish. And look at this, we're actually almost back at the full. Here comes that hurricane. Oh man, that shouldn't do too much, right? I guess it did a decent chunk. Come on, one more heat wave. That's all we need. There it is. All right then, it's super effective, and that is Grush's final Pokemon, Altaria, defeated. Amazing. So that one was actually quick work. 
We have to keep the, the same Pokemon up the entire time. But it worked out quite well for us this time. It was definitely more difficult the first attempt through, but gym, gym Leader Grusha has been defeated. Your burning passion. I kind of like it, to be honest. Thank you. Man, Gita must really have it out for me. Sending someone there's no way I could beat. Still, no regrets on my part. I gave it everything I had. I hit you full force, and I lost anyway. It made me feel frustrated. It makes me want to become stronger as a gym leader, put more of myself into it. I had thought my passion had frozen over, but you've rekindled it for me. Thanks, Zebra. I won't lose next time, you'll see. Try not to catch a cold on your way down the mountain, huh? All right then, so seven gym leaders defeated. So exciting. But one more has to be taken out for us to complete our little mission here. So we're gonna get jump out of this gym and move over to it. So we are here at Montenebra. This was, of course, the final ghost-type gym leader. And with this one, there's a lot of double battles, so I do have our two Pokemon we need out for that, just in case that happens again, because ghost-type is only weak to dark-type and other ghost-types. Well, if it isn't my little challenger, Zebra. What brings you back here, baby? Finally ready for that rap battle? Yeah, rap battle sounds great. <laughs> so you're a champion rank comedian, too. So instead of her, I get you. She sent a rookie champion instead of coming out here herself. Doesn't she know who I am? Sorry, I got heated there. Don't worry though, you aren't the one who struck that nerve. Oh well, I was just thinking I'd like to see you again anyways. Guess this is just how fate has it. If we're doing this, let's do it. Ready to show me how strong all those adventures made you? I am. So we have both of our Pokemon that'll be best dealt with this. Now that's the spirit, come on, let's put on a killer show. We have uh, Meowskarada, which is the dark type, and then Doxbun, which of course has the ghost type move, the lick. It's not too much, but it should be a little bit of something for us to get through this double battle. It feels like just yesterday that you were here for your gym task. Now you're all champion up and out doing errands for Lara Premiere herself. I'll tell you something, you get to be my age, time starts passing you by fast. But that sentimental style is not worth my while. Time to kick a rhyme and hit the flow, let's go. My spirit's burning, yearning to get this battle churning. You best be ready to begin. Our little champion is coming into his own. Come on, baby, rattle me down to the bone. All right, we got some good rhymes dropping. We are against the final gym leader today, Gym Leader Rhyme, the ghost gym leader of the Montenever Gym. And of course, it is still a double battle, so we got Mimikyu and whatever the other one's gone. Come on, rookie, show me you deserve to be called a champion. The Nat. All right then, so we'll just do Lick, I guess, against Mimikyu. It doesn't do too much damage, but at the same time, we need to damage down um, Mimikyu's stuff anyways, because it has like multiple hits it takes with its like disguise or whatever. So I'll just try this against the Nat in the meantime. Hopefully it lands some nice criticals. It is super effective. Not a critical, but still enough for a one hit takedown. Great start for sure. So easy experience rolling, and even a level up. For Doxmon, but as you can see, it doesn't do anything because the disguise is breaking. But now that it's busted, I think we can do a little bit more. I'm gonna try using Play Rough against Doxmon, which doesn't do too much. Um, Houndstone is the next one. Okay, so let's go for this a little bit. I will do Lick against Mimikyu again, but then we'll do Dark Pulse against Houndstone. Come on, big hit. Does a lot of damage, not enough to finish it off, unfortunately. But here comes the Lick, and it lowers their health a little bit. Okay, I think we should swap at this point, but let's see. Houndstone can also use Play Rough. That does do some good damage against Mascarada, actually. So we'll do um, Lick against Houndstone and then Dark Pulse against Mimikyu. That way it does eliminate both of them, I think. There you go, no way! It is still kicking. Can't believe that. Okay, Houndstone fainted. But Mimikyu is still here to do damage. I'm just gonna finish off me off I really needed that not to happen. So we might get Palm out out here just to use the revive. The revival blessing might be our best move here. All right, well then here we go. So Spirit Tomb is our next one. Ooh, we didn't see this last time. Whoa, and it's exerting pressure. So the first thing I wanna do then is, oh, this is super effective, I guess, against that. 
or is it super effective against our own teammate? We wouldn't want that. That's weird. Um, anyways, yeah, we'll just lick Mimikyu and then Revival Blessing. I, I guess that's how it works. Let's see. Uh, and just use this against Miascarada so that it revives. There you go. It's revived and it's ready to fight again. But there's Mimikyu finally down. So we might as well keep fighting with what we got just for the time being. That's level 76 for Float Soul. It's gonna use Curse against something here. Against Dock Spun. Not what we wanted too much, but... We'll see how this works out. Dock Spun is afflicted by Curse. And Toxtricity. Okay. Things are getting a bit complicated here. Um, but we can use Lick against Spiritomb, I think. And then... This is not very effective, I'm guessing, against either of them. I might just want to switch out now. Maybe we'll switch over to Oink alone and use um, Earth Power against Toxtricity. That might be a better move. This is getting pretty rough. This is definitely a lot more difficult than our first time through. I want to heal Mascarada before it's too late. This ghostly change will turn your highs to lows. The brightest lights cast the darkest shadows. Oh, and they are terrestrializing, but which one? I guess it's gonna be Spiritomb. No, it's gonna be Toxicity. All right. I don't remember terrestrializing in the double battle before, but I might be misremembering. Either way, I guess I've made a mistake then. Um, here comes the Lick, which doesn't do too much. And here comes Sludge Bomb, which is gonna finish off Doxmon. All right, this is definitely a bit of a concern. I might just want to go into it with Miascarada now and just fight our way through it as much as I possibly can. I really don't know. Will-O-Wisp is going to come on to uh, Oink Alone there. It gets a burn on us. That's not too crazy. Oink Alone was burned. We're going to go back over to uh, Miascarada. I don't know, though. I think that we should wait. I think we should wait and heal Miascarada. So swap you in. And then we'll heal while Floats is out, right? It shouldn't be too bad. So, bag. I think a Hyper Potion should be enough. Yeah, to get Meowstrata all the way back up the fall. And then, I guess we can do Earth Power. It'll be normally effective. I want to finish off Spiritomb. Because this thing is a little too much for us. We can use Sucker Punch against us, which really doesn't hurt too much. As long as it doesn't make us flinch. Oh, no more pressure. Here's our chance. Earth power, will it be enough to defeat you? It will be, so we just have one more Pokemon to deal with. I think we can handle it. Plenty more experience is coming in, but Overdrive, oh my gosh, it's super effective against Floatzel, of course. So this is where we'll swap Floatzel out for Mouscarada. Okay, so. Don't do this. Instead, go to our Pokemon, go to Masquerada, and do that super effective Dark Pulse to finish you off. And then for uh, Oink alone, if we could just, I don't think Yawn would work, would it? I mean, it'll have no effect. So I guess we'll just do Earth Power and see if we can't just do at least a little bit more damage with it. Okay, so Masquerada, here comes that Earth Power. It does something, it's a little bit of something. That's all we need. The overdrive is coming in. It doesn't do too much to Miascarada, because that's where we're hoping for that burn, though. It's gonna hurt Oink alone a little bit more. Come on, this is our chance. Dark Pulse, and then just do another Earth Power. I don't think it, it'll even be necessary. This might be enough to finish you off. It is! So there we go. Toxtricity is down for the count. That is excellent. So there we go. We got it. We've defeated Gym Leader Rhyme for the second time. You're cool, my friend. You move my soul. Ha ha ha. Wasn't expecting you to rattle me that much. You caught me off guard just like Shadow Sneak. Sorry for calling you a rookie. Hope we're good. I just wanted to prove the strength of ghost types to Gita, but I guess I got carried away. You're the real deal, my friend. I can guarantee that. From here on out, Rhyme's got your back. If you're running, run into any Vexen trainers or Hex inspectors, you just give me a call. Now you go enjoy this big wide world to the fullest, you hear me? Later, baby. 
All right then, so it's nice seeing Ryan again. But more than that, we have now officially defeated every gym leader for the second time, not the least. If you include Larry, that's the third time. But you know what I mean, all the rematches have been completed, so now we're getting a call. Hello, am I speaking to Champion Zebra? This is Gita. How is your inspection of the gyms going? I'm done with them all. You've done a wonderful job, thank you. I was informed by each of the gym leaders that you stopped by to see them. I knew giving you this task was the right decision, Champion Zebra. All of them seemed quite happy for the opportunity to battle you. Now, I would like the inspection report from you in person. Join me at the academy in the entrance hall. I'll be waiting for you there. Okay then, so we have to head to the entrance hall to cash in all of our gym leader stuff. That'll be pretty cool. Um, but for now, we need to heal up our Pokemon. We have successfully completed our rematch with every single gym trainer. It was quite intense, but definitely worth the fun times we had throughout it. And we got a lot stronger along the way. We are even closer to level 80 with each of our Pokemon, something we'll keep chipping away at over time. But what is going on back at the school? Will we start this big school tournament now? I guess we'll have to find out in the next episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.